Members only? How long have you been wearing that? Oh, Kuji Namiyo. Oh. You look sharp. How do you feel? Two miles I walk every morning. You going to Little Tommy's communion? I gotta talk to Aunt Lenore. Say hello to Marie for me. Yeah, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me get that number, the guy who makes the custom cufflinks. Oh, yeah. What'd that prick want? Is it really something, any with that fucking jerk-off face? The eyebrows, I fucking can't stand them. I gotta tell you, though, he surprised me. He's acting boss, takes care of John's business, plus the wife, while John's in jail. Yeah, yeah. No complaints. It's real old school. Oh, finally. Mm -hmm. Starting to grow mushrooms out my ass. There's an image. So, Jerry filled me in on the way over. This whole thing was a complete misunderstanding. Yeah, to see you like, kid, I had any idea he was with you, I would have never. He didn't tell you about Hesh. I asked who he was, he high-handed me. Uh, I thought he was a civilian. Still, they get dragged by a car. For the record, though, the car thing was a hit and run. So what do we do here? What do we say? 25 sounds right. Oh, he's bleeding internally. Pain, suffering. So you tell me, 50? Yeah, fair enough. Can we segue now into something more pressing? The floor is yours, Senator. I spoke to John. The split on the office park is way out of whack. Same thing as the Esplanade. Apples and bowling balls, Tony. With fuel costs now. Like you're not passing that on to the drivers? 6535. Right. Oh, I have Napoleons, but I also got fruit for a certain party. Eat is good. Program says sugar after meals tells the body you're full. When you married my cousin, everybody used to say you look like John Travolta. He's almost back to his white suit. The bacala question. Probably don't have any claim. I don't know why Syl rules so half-assed on you. It's not my style. He's worried more about taking care of Camilla than the actual fucking artist. Please, with Johnny awaiting trial and the feds freezing his assets, what do you think's keeping Ginny and Butter Brickle? I mean, lucky for me, those last years I was in the can, my kid brother Billy took care of Patty and the grandkids. <sighs> Only to have that motherfucking animal, Blundetto. Don't do it to yourself, Philly. It's hard to forget. I don't forget. I forget what we're talking about. Me too. The fuck was it? Oh, yeah. Jesus. Carmella. The thing is, is... You want coffee, cuz? If you're already making it. Hot water and lemon, hun. Honestly. How can I short Carmella? Maybe I'm not following you. I'm a supporter of the next guy. But there's a point. And what if Tony takes a turn for the worse? I'm gonna hand her $100,000, and he dies the next day? Be money down the drain. It's tempting, but you can't think that way. <laughs> Come on. You going already? Oh, he's always like this at weddings. You make me sound rude. The crab cakes. I told you I don't feel good. But they don't keep in this heat. You know, let's go. Francesca. Good night. Phil, oh my God. You poor kid. I know. I can't believe it myself. I keep waiting for him to call. How long am I supposed to tell the kids he's away on business? That fucking shitbag. I get my hands on him, I'm gonna tear him limb from limb. Oh, Phil, don't say that. You're my cousin he married, making a mockery of the whole sacrament. But what do we really know? I mean, maybe there were signs, but... And Vito Spatterford is a good man, and he's a wonderful dad. Somebody sees something one time, and he's tossed aside like garbage. That's why I'm here, honey. There's been confirmation through the grapevine. Vito was seen in a car with a man. I don't want to get graphic beyond that. The idea of it repulses me so much. 
Confirmation? Who? The witness has no reason to lie. No. We can't be in denial no more, much as we love him. Where do you think he might have gone, honey? So we can get him back here. Get him to do something about it. Sure, we break some balls here tonight, but I go way back. And in light of recent humiliations, it's an honor to be joined by men. And not faggot-ass, cornhole and cocksuckers like married my cousin. He oh, should relax. fucking die. Oh, 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 Phil. Take it easy. Yeah. Phil, you know the wine makes you emotional. Because I got an empty fucking stomach. What I do for you, Phil? Fido. Do we know where he's at? Well, that really doesn't concern you. How's John? I don't know. Fine, through his veil of tears. But seriously, Vito, what's being done about him? Well, like I just said, it's none of your fucking business, because he works for me, not you. He's married to my cousin. He dishonored me personally. What do you want me to do, put out an APB on the guy because he takes it up the ass? Huh? It's a victimless crime. Marie is a victim. Her children are victims. They've done nothing. And they're forced to live with the shame and humiliation. I gotta be frank. In your father's day, we wouldn't be having this conversation. A Fenoik and his crew, he knew how to handle that. I sympathize with Marie and the children, okay? But don't you fucking tell me what to do. You're only acting, boss. I swallowed my pride when your murdering fuck of a cousin killed my brother. Don't think I'm gonna do it twice. Philip, let's not make a beef where there isn't one. Fundamentally, we are in agreement on this issue. But I'll handle it. Heard on 1010 Windsor, tell us a parking lot. I hope you didn't get caught in that. You said you are gonna take care of that fucking Fenoik. Oh, for Christ's sake, fucking Vito again? What the fuck is wrong with you? He's in town, isn't he? I was at Marie's the other night. She played the innocent, but I could tell she'd seen him. You're fucking con the great now, too, huh? I gotta tell you, Anthony, if Vito was here and you knew about it, fuck this. You're a fucking disgrace. Now, for whatever reason, certain incidents have expired lately that, in addition to being dangerous, could have an adverse impact on our respective bottom lines. I know Vito's bottom was impacted, if that's what you're referring to. <laughs> Call him what you will, but you're talking about one of my captains. Captain? The good ship Lollipop, right? Phil, please. Please, my ass. The man was a fucking disgrace. But before he came out of the closet, he worked for me. And he put a lot of money in my pocket, and yours, too. <laughs> I wish I was dead. I mean it, I wish I was dead. You know what? I'll make the funeral arrangements. You're in no condition. Given the circumstances, small, private service, just the immediate family. He was a good man, wasn't he, Phil? He was. I loved him like a brother-in-law. <laughs> 